I've lost 130 pounds and kept it off for nine years. And I'm gonna share five simple things that I do every day to burn more fat with you, honey. Number one. <laughs> Thanks, BB. <laughs> Number one. I drink black coffee before I do cardio every morning. The caffeine in coffee actually can increase your energy. So when you do it before like an exercise, obviously you're probably gonna go harder, which means you can burn more cows. Caffeine also acts as an appetite suppressant and it can help boost your metabolism. And why the black coffee is because if you add anything to it, you're adding cows. So that kind of defeats the purpose. So I drink black coffee most of the time, but there are days where I do want to treat and I'll add this. And I'll add in too, like caffeine is one of the only legal things left that is an actual fat burner that actually works. Yes. So I'll add this. This is the HTLT G coffee creamer. It's only 35 cows a scoop. It's mocha latte flavor. It actually tastes like a cappuccino, which I do love. And it has three and a half grams of milk protein. Plus it has nootropics, which is like for focus and mental clarity and stuff. So that also helps when you're doing cardio or exercise. Um, so sometimes I'll add a scoop of that. Mostly though, I drink a large black coffee before I do my cardio and it gets gets my motor going. Number two, I maximize my neat calories. So neat calories are basically calories burned outside of typical exercise. So errands, cleaning, gardening, parking your car further in a parking lot at the grocery store and walking, you know, longer to the door. Nicole's that always kind of, dancing randomly yeah. in the kitchen. I was gonna say, you guys know about NEAT. If you watch me, I'm always, uh, I, I love dancing, but also like it NEATs ya, but it, no. Okay, so this is what I love to do because I'm always looking to sneak in a way to burn more calories. So what I'll do is, our laundry is in the basement. So if I'm doing laundry, I'll purposely take two trips, bringing my laundry in two trips so that I burn more cows because I have to go up the stairs twice. Also like, you know, if we meal prep and I'm bringing stuff down to the big freezer, I'll do it in two trips. I'm always looking for ways like when I go to work, I try to pick the furthest parking spot so that I can walk a little extra longer. Basically sneaking in ways to burn more cows without even noticing so that you didn't realize like you're getting extra like exercise. And I have like, I sit down a lot for editing. So when I eat my lunch, for instance, I'll usually stand up, which those, it doesn't have to be something like actually moving your body. Those no. are neat calories too. Standing versus sitting burns a little bit more calories. That is a good point. I will also do that. Like when I can, instead of sitting, I'll stand too. Like I have a very active job where like Kyle said, he sits more, but I'll still, I still like to sneak those in. Also like I'm constantly just like dancing around cause I love it and I'm a great dancer as you know. <laughs> <laughs> Number three, I do low intensity, steady state cardio. So I lost my weight by using portion control and walking and I still walk low intensity or steady state cardio is the best way to burn fat because it's sustainable. You can do it for a long period of time and for a long time in general. So I've been walking for years. I walked to get the weight off and I've walked to keep the weight off for years and years. And why? Because it's sustainable, because I do it at a slow pace where I'm, I'm able to keep it up for a very long time. I started with 15 minutes. I now do an hour six times a week. And then I take leg day off just because I'm already, you know, working my legs. So it would kind of defeat the purpose to do cardio on that day. Number four, I prioritize protein. Protein lowers your hunger hormone ghrelin. So it helps you feel fuller longer. Why this can help you burn more fat is because it's normal to feel hungry when you're in a calorie deficit, so you might wanna eat more. Well, protein helps you feel full. So if you eat it at every single meal and snack, it'll help you feel fuller, which can help you not 
want to overeat in the long run or snack more often than you want to when you're trying to lose weight. Um, and speaking of protein, this is HTLT steps. I already showed you the coffee creamer, but this protein, seriously, best tasting ever. S'mores is one of my favorite. And um, in my full day of eating, where I show you like how I fit in over a hundred like plus grams of protein a day, I use a scoop of this to make s'mores protein pudding. Watch the video, check it out. It is so good. Code Nicole will save you 15% off and the link is down below. And that is the same for the coffee creamer as well. I lost my weight with portion control. If you want to know the exact meals and portions that I ate to lose the weight, you can buy my weight loss ebook called The First 50. Code Nicole will save you 10% and the link is down below. Number five, I drink cold water. Da, 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 da. Why? Because your body has to work harder to heat this water up and bring it to your core temperature. So it burns a little extra cows while doing that. If you drink room temperature water, you're gonna be hydrated, but your body doesn't have to work harder to heat it up. Cold water, it does. So I drink um, currently five bottles of water a day and I make sure they're all cold. One, it's super tasty, but two, I purposely choose the cold because if I can get a boost anywhere to help me burn extra cows, I'm gonna do it. And this is a super easy way to do it. Just make sure the bottle of water's cold. Yeah, me and Nicole like these simple hacks because we know, you know, over the last almost 10 years of doing this, that these little simple tricks add up. So yes. the internet says, you know, it's not an exact science, but it says about eight calories per glass of water, cold versus room temperature. Yes. So, you add up all the water me and Nicole drink and times that by a whole year, that's, that's a lot. Uh, and it's pretty significant. And also it's not something extra we have to do. It's not extra work. It's not extra, you know, running upstairs or anything. No, I'm already doing my laundry. Why not go up and down the stairs a second time? I'm already drinking water. Why not make it cold? I love coffee. Why not drink it in the morning before I do my cardio to help it benefit me as much as possible? Now the key is, these things are great and they're all great boost things that you can do every single day that don't require a lot of work. But the main, main thing you need to do if you want to lose weight is you have to be in a calorie deficit. So it's calories in, calories out. So you still have to eat less, consume less calories than you burn. But doing these things on top of it or starting with these while you're working on eating less will really help you get started being consistent and start rocking and rolling towards your goals. Yeah, none of these things are magic, but no. they do all add up Yes. if you're not ready to go the full way. Yes, and Kyle and I, like we've been doing this a long time. We've both lost the same amount of weight, kept it off for the same amount of time. It's not our first rodeo we've been saying lately. And we have learned like, we only do things that work. And why do we do these things every day? Because they work along with eating in a calorie deficit, these things really do help and they're very simple and easy that anyone can do them. Another thing about coffee, it has caffeine in it. Caffeine, it's the reason why we've been programmed to drink it before work in the morning is because it makes, it literally makes you happier about what you're doing. So the friends, weight loss should never be a punishment. It's about small changes that you can be consistent with and that's why we made this video. These are very easy things that you can apply to your life right now so that you can get started on working toward your goals. You gotta love what you're eating. If you don't love it, you're not gonna stick to it. And we know this because we spent years not liking what we were eating and doing and failing. So you gotta love it. Don't treat weight loss as a punishment. You should wake up every day and be excited to do it. And that's why you see me dance all the time because I love what I'm doing. So watch this vid and this vid for more fun, sustainable weight loss tips because Sass and I are real friends losing weight in the real world. We give you real tips that really worked for us that you can cherry pick and do right now. You can pick even just one of them if it'll work for you and try it, honey, and just be consistent with it. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next Thank you to you know it. And I love it. And I'll piece it out, bud. <laughs> piece it. Piece it. Piece it. Oh, Sassy. Oh, wait. I wanted to show them something really cool. Are you ready, guys? This better be cool. You set it up really it's good. It's really cool. When we were working out, I was laughing in the laundry room because um, I thought it was really funny. Watch this. <laughs> Remember when I said this better be really wait, cool? Wait, look. Look, you can change levels. Look, look, look. Whoa. Bye. <laughs>
<laughs> no comment. See ya. <laughs> Bye. Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't